Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and this channel is all about helping you develop your personal style and in doing so, increasing your confidence. Today's video is all about the autumn, winter color trends. And I'm gonna be very specific here in that these are the color trends from Pantone, which is the design industry authority when it comes to color. And I'm taking their inspiration from New York Fashion Week. London has a slightly different color trend, but we'll focus on New York for this one. So what I'll do is go through each color and place them into each of the color seasons so that you know to, if you're gonna buy something, that you make sure you're buying still into your color palette and not just buying into the trend. We don't wanna do that. Please let me know in the comments below what color sparks your interest and let me know what season you are in so we can all learn and be inspired from each other. If you're new here to the channel, you are very welcome. And of course, welcome back to all the regular subscribers too. It is great to see you. If you learned something new in this video, please feel free to go ahead and hit that like button. And if you'd like to support this channel even further, super thanks is always very welcome. It helps me to keep this channel going and keep producing videos just like this so that we can all develop our personal style and our confidence, which is just good for everybody really. So let's get into today's video. Now, surprise, surprise, there's quite a few warm colors here because it is the autumn season, but there's a few surprise ones as well and some that might cross over into other seasons. The first color I'm gonna talk about is tomato cream or tomato cream, depending on where you are in the world. This undoubtedly is on the warmer side. So those of you already who are in the spring or autumn categories are going to be loving this kind of neutral tone, I would say. It reminds me of tan leather. So if you have anything like that in the wardrobe, I can imagine this long, gorgeous tan leather coat or something in this color would be phenomenal. I'd say this is on the extreme side of warm. So if you are cool and strongly cool, then best avoid this one. If you're closer to neutral, you'll get away with it more. And always remember, it's the proximity of color to your face that really plays a part in how well you can wear these colors. Moving on to Scarlet Smile. What a great name. I can imagine this as a lipstick and I can see blue in this red. We'll just call it red. Scarlet Smile, a glamorous and decadent red that captures our desire. This is definitely extremely blue based, I would say. So we're going over to the winter and the summer side. And I would say that the winter category, because it is quite um, a punchy color, it's quite vivid. I'd say the winters are gonna pull this off even better. Keep in mind, if you are thinking about this as a lipstick and you're in that softer season, go gentle with the application instead of going with full on color. So dab, dab, dab a little lip gloss and you're good to go with the color of the season. Next up is Golden Palm, a new expression of eco color that is both surprising and familiar. I love these lines, <laughs> who comes up with these? <laughs> so again, we are definitely on the warmer side. There's very obvious yellow in this green. I would say it is also quite a soft color. And so autumns, you're in luck. This is going to look really gorgeous and might I say elegant on you. This would be beautiful as a turtleneck or even a full on wool dress would be stunning on the autumn person. Next up, aventurine. I'm not sure about the pronunciation of that one. It's like we're flip-flopping between cool, warm, cool, warm, which is great because we all get a look in here. So this is a mineral-based tone imbued with a hidden richness. Definitely a blue-based green. I mean, it looks to me like pine green, which is a very suitable for the winter person. Summers, I hope we're gonna to get to you soon. <laughs> but this is definitely something that is gonna look amazing on a cool winter, I'm gonna say. I mean, it's a really cool green. So this would make a spectacular coat. I always think coats are so important in the autumn winter season because oftentimes it's the only thing that people can see or that we can see in our outfits ourselves because we're covering up with them. So a great coat in a great color can just be like, what you need in this time of year. Going back to red, orange, the clue is in the name, it's warm based. When we get orange in there, 
we know we're on the warmer side, no doubt about it. We're jumping over into, I would say quite a spring-like color. It's vivid, a, oh, even in the name, a vibrant shade connected to energy and empowerment. This could look amazing as a lipstick again, I'm gonna say, but for the spring person, it's gone a little bit too vivid for the autumns. So this is for the spring people out there, those of you with those warmer undertones and a tolerance for that higher level of intensity. This is gonna be amazing. Keep in mind, you can use these colors in different ways as well. It doesn't have to be a full on dress or a coat or something. You could just get a little bit of a nail color and you know pay homage to the season through your nail color. It doesn't have to be a full on outfit for you to get involved. Next up, we have Fern a leafy green rooted in the natural world. Now this one I would say is for our summers out there and it's particularly soft. I'd say the dominant quality in this color is the softness of it. So if you're a soft summer moving over into soft autumn, I think could wear this quite well because the undertone in temperature it's kind of neither here nor there. It's not very obvious. It's more about the softness of this color. This could even make a great eyeshadow. Just a hint of that fern on the eyes could be spectacular. Next up, Italian plum. A deep, dark purple, full of magical energies. I'm having a lot of fun with these descriptions. This definitely crosses over between an autumn and a winter. It's got depth, but it's got a touch of softness and I see a hint of red. We're kind of moving into that aubergine kind of purple color. See the other word, eggplant. Uh, we're kind of moving into that direction. When we start adding red to a purple, we dip into the warmer side. Doesn't mean that the cool people can't wear it, they still can because purple is naturally cool. But with a hint of red in it, we bring in warmth. This could also make a great eyeliner if you just wanted, again, to pay a little bit of an homage to the season. You know, add it in in smaller doses, but I also think this could look stunning on a dark autumn. I could imagine this as even like an evening gown. Can you imagine that? That would just be like, it's such a gorgeous, sophisticated color. If you're enjoying this video, please go ahead and hit the like button. Let's move on to Moonstruck. A shadowy gray hue that lives behind the clouds. <laughs> I mean, this is gray. It's like a mid gray. I would put this in the cooler categories. I think a summer person could wear this. Also a winter, especially like if they have like gray or white hair, that whole combination of the moonstruck gray could look amazing. So I would place that in the cooler side with winter and also summers could wear it too. Next up is another one for summer, Winter Sky, a cooling blue hue that takes our breath away. <laughs> uh, this is definitely a softer, lighter kind of a blue. It's kind of an icy blue. So I would say this is good for a light summer. It's very gentle. It's on the cool side. Yeah, a light summer is gonna work really well in this kind of a color. Then we have Lucent White. An optically brightened white conveying effective simplicity. So white is the cooler side of light neutrals. It's definitely not cream. There's no hint of yellow in this at all. So we are on the, even though it says optically brightened, I see a touch of softness in this. So I would say either a winter or a summer could wear this. Possibly a cool summer rather than the softer summers. Softer summers really need to lean into a softer white and I just don't think it's that soft. Now we move into a warmer type of white in White Swan. A soft and downy white full of grace. Now there's definitely more yellow in this, so we are on the warmer side for sure for light neutrals. There's a touch of softness here, so the autumn people could wear this really nicely. Next up is Raw Umber, a grounded brown emotionally connected to the earth. This is on the warmer side, and I'd move back into the spring category here because it's quite a, 
it's quite a clear color. It's quite vivid, it's quite strong. So the springs could work really well as this, as their light neutral in some kind of maybe a trench coat or even just a handbag could look really great. Don't forget, you could also apply these colors to things like the frames of glasses as well. There's so many ways we can apply our colors or just to like a great scarf. Scarves are fantastic coming into autumn, winter. If you're in colder climates, scarves are the best way to bring in the best colors for you into your wardrobe. And you can do this as inexpensively as you like. You'll always find great scarves in thrift shops and charity shops, or of course you can go on the high end and treat yourself to an Hermes scarf. We're nearly there. Next up is dark gull gray, a solid and dense gray that is forever relevant. So it's not just a trend, it's forever relevant. Now we're getting into this kind of steely gunmetal gray. This is where we are in the winter territory. We've got coolness, we've got depth, we've got strength of color. So a winter person is going to work well in this dark gold gray. Then we've got navy. Navy is such a universal color for the most part. Everybody can get away with a navy. So this one is a deep blue hue with a dark and rich quality. All those words pointing in the direction of winter. There is a navy for everybody. Just a little tip on wearing navy. It's really hard to match a navy and a navy if you're buying it in different stores. Have you ever tried to match a navy top to a navy bottom? It's difficult because the little changes and subtleties in the color can throw off an outfit completely. So if you don't buy it as a co-ord, try not to pair your navy with the navy because it's really, really difficult but the winters will do very well in baritone blue. Lastly, we come to Buckthorn Brown, a sturdy golden brown that forms an unwavering foundation. This is definitely on the extreme side of warmth. So anybody on the extreme side of coolness, stay away from this one. You really need to have that tolerance for wearing those obviously warm colors. I couldn't wear this. So we're looking at maybe a warm spring, warm autumn. I'd say more spring-like because there's a little bit of lightness in there. There's a little bit of lift. It's almost mustardy, but this would be very wearable for the spring person. So we can expect to see these colors coming through the stores and every element of design that we see over the next six months or so. I always say to people, don't buy into trends unless they suit you, if they suit your colors, if they suit your body shape, if they suit your style personality, if they work with your wardrobe and your lifestyle, then that's the time to invest in a trend. Otherwise, let them come and go. There'll be something else next year that will work for you. The point is that we buy really mindfully and carefully so that we're investing in things that are going to stay with us for a very long time. That's it for today's video. I do hope you enjoyed it and learned something new and I'll see you again next week for another video. Take care. Bye bye.